Hello everyone, Berserkit here, and welcome to this absolutely improvised video. I just got the idea of making this like half an hour ago, and uh, I was like, I haven't done one of these opinion videos in a while, so might as well make one. And this is actually a topic that I've wanted to talk about for a really, really long time. Like, before I even started making YouTube videos, this is a topic that I've been kind of wanting to discuss with other people, and I have with some people. But anyways, the footage in the background that, that you're seeing is from my Seleucid Empire campaign, but you can just ignore that. It's just a thing in the background. It's not relevant. So you might as well, I don't know, watch something else or play a game and just listen to, the, to this video because otherwise it might be a little bit boring. And another thing, I just want to see your opinion about this. Give me all the comments. So Prince of Macedon, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about him. And I actually f found Prince of Macedon on YouTube quite a long time ago, more than two years ago. It was back when I was just getting into the Total War games and I was crazy about them. And before I actually give you my opinion about Prince of Macedon, I just want to make it very clear that I'm not... I don't want to offend him in any way, especially personally. Like, when I'm saying Prince of Macedon, I mean the persona Prince of Macedon, the user on YouTube Prince of Macedon. Because he actually seems like a rather nice guy in real life. I've never met him. Like, it's a thing on YouTube. Most people on YouTube, like, they're not playing a role. For example, me, I'm pretty much the same person in real life that I am on YouTube. But they're just, you cannot see all aspects of a person's character on YouTube. So what I'm what I'm basically trying to say, well, my point is that he might be in like a genuinely very, very nice guy in real life, but I have kind of a negative opinion about him on YouTube. Once again, the persona Prince of Macedon. So yeah, I hope you get that. I hope I'm very clear about that. Anyways, having said that, let me talk about my personal experience with Prince of Macedon. As I said earlier, I found his channel on YouTube more than two years ago, and I was actually very much into his videos back when he made pretty much only Rome Total War videos, and he seemed to be very good at it, because he won pretty much every time. Not pretty much, he won every time, literally. So I, 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 just, I just liked his channel. His commentary wasn't bad either. Uh, I hadn't watched any Total War commentators before him, and he was pretty much the only Total War commentator that I watched on YouTube. And uh, I commented on, on his videos, I watched pretty much all of them. I liked the guy, I liked him a lot. But one day, I decided to kind of make a joke comment, kind of a troll comment. I don't know what what you would call it, I would personally call it, call it a joke, but basically there are all of these people that are, you know, finding his channel or have watched like five or ten of his videos, and they're all like, do you always win or you just hide your defeats and you never upload them and stuff like that? And I decided to make fun of these people, and I kind of make a joke, asking them like, I don't know why I did that by the way, I was a very different person back then. Um, but I don't know why I did that. I really don't know the reason behind it. But I wrote the comment. It was something like, I don't remember, I don't have it anymore. But it was like, um, Prince, do you win every single battle or you just upload your victories? And then a laughing face at the end, you know, just showing that this is a joke. And what followed was, I don't know, maybe a few hours after that, I receive a personal message from Prince of Macedon on YouTube. And I actually have a proof for that, like I'm not pulling this out of my ass, sorry for the expression, but I there is there is a screenshot of that. But anyways, let me read the email to you. First of all, we see the subject, it says hello noob, and I was like, oops, I think I did something wrong, but let's open the message and actually read it. So this is what he wrote, in case you're not watching the video or you're too lazy to read it. You asked if I only upload wins. Sorry, but that's an idiotic comment. I have over 85 plus losses on my channel. If you don't watch my videos, then why are you assuming I don't post losses? Sounds extremely ignorant. Also, the last time I lost in Rome Total War was in January 2009. That's why you don't see many Rome Total War losses nowadays. But as for any losses, there are over 85 losses on my channel. It's not my fault that you're blind. 
All right, so there are many, many flaws about this personal message. I don't actually know where, where to begin, but first of all, I don't know why he's calling me a noob out of nowhere. Like, he's just psh, a noob. I'm a noob. I just made a joke, therefore I'm a noob. He apparently got offended by, by my comment. Once again, I didn't try to offend him in any way. I like the guy very much, but he he just, I don't know. He just thought it was offensive. And then he points out that he has over 85 losses. Well, sorry, but when you have 2,000 videos on your channel, I don't know how many he has. I'm just making up this number, but he has so many videos. 85 losses is nothing. And then the second thing that I really want to point out, this, this was written about two years ago, which means 2012. And he says that he hasn't lost a battle since 2009 basically the beginning of 2009 january and i'm like sorry but three years without losing a single battle in rome total war that's impossible i'm a person that plays rome total war so i know how the game works there are a lot of people that are either camping they're not playing by the rules there are many free-for-all battles and i know for a fact that he that he plays free-for-all battles it's just impossible that's three years just imagine how many battles he's fought for these uh, three years. A lot of them. And it's just impossible. I'm, I'm sorry, but there is nothing else I can say about this. Three years without losing. I know that you're very good at this game, but you're not the best. And even the best lose sometimes. You can see that in sports. You can see that in pretty much anything competitive. Everyone loses sometimes. Three years is just impossible. And I actually I actually saw the the video where he lost for the last time in Rome Total War. It was really in uh, January two thousand nine. And and that's that's really the, the first thing that I that I that I have against Prince of Macedon. Once again the persona of Prince of Macedon. He's very egotistical and he's very narcissistic. Narcissistic is the word that best describes him. He's just so bothered about losing. No one has said that he's bad. I mean, so many people watch him. Therefore, you know, the logical conclusion is that he is actually good at the game. I don't see why he thinks that when someone says something neg negative about him, they automatically think that they're that he's a bad player. I mean, welcome to YouTube. People are going to criticize you for everything that you do. Even if you're the best player, there are still going to be haters out there. You got to be fine with that. You got to be very tough skinned. If you want to deal with YouTube, especially if you have a channel big as his. My channel is nothing compared to his channel. Also, I want to point that out. I'm no one compared to him. But anyways, I'm going to carry on with my points once I actually show the rest of our correspondence. Because we actually exchanged uh, two more emails. And basically, here I apologize to him. I don't have to read the whole email. But I basically apologize to the guy. I said I didn't mean... To be offensive, it was just a joke. I'm not saying he was a bad player. You know, stuff like that. You get it. By the way, excuse my poor grammar and spelling, but that was two years ago. I was kind of bad at English back then. And then he responds with an even angrier email. Let me read it to you. You're not trying to be offensive. You just implied that I hide all of my losses. You don't consider that offensive? You called me a liar, basically. Also, there are over 85 losses on my channel. And yes, there are losses in Rome Total War videos too. As I said, I haven't lost since January 2009. So let's see here. Prior to January 2009, you can't find losses in Rome Total War. Does it bother you that I'm good in Rome Total War? You seem rather bothered. Well, I didn't try to be offensive, but now he's getting kind of offensive. First, he's calling me a noob. He's calling me ignorant. Then he's calling me a liar. He's making a uh, false claim that I call him a liar, which was not what I did. That's a question that's basically impossible for me to make a proposition when I'm asking a question. That's a logical fallacy, by the way. I'm not the one who's bothered. Apparently, he's bothered. You know, he's clearly showing that by writing two personal messages to me and like blocking my comment and blocking the comment of pretty much everyone else who is critical to him. I mean, he just has to realize that there are always going to be people on YouTube that are going to be criticizing you. And this is pretty much where I stopped watching Prisa Macedon because I, I just don't want to be treated that way. I'm just writing a genuine comment, a joke, and I'm being called ignorant, liar, so on and so on. 
that's that's one of the things he's trying to implement this censorship on his channel when where he's just blocking every single comment that's not the way you do youtube that's not the way you should treat people once again it's his channel it's his rules i i i'm just critical of that i just don't think that people should be treated this way you would ask me like do you you, you don't have like hate comments on your channel well i've had spam on my channel actually once let me let me tell you what i did the guy was writing a comment like can you go subscribe to this guy and then and then tell him that i told you to subscribe it was just a idiotic comment it was something like that you know but i didn't block the guy or anything it was just i flagged the comment for spam and that was it i just flagged it i didn't remove it because it was genuine spam let's be honest but there is a thing, it's called freedom of speech. Everyone can write whatever they can on YouTube. And the way, you know, if you try to censor them, it's not just, it's just disrespect to them. And I don't, I don't get it. Like, he seems like this dictator to me. Because, like, people idolize him. They absolutely idolize him. And they're like puppies. They're defending him for everything he does. I don't know how this happens. It's it just seems so wrong to me. That's that's a thing. There are so many of these YouTube channels that are trying to make people feel as a part of a community, which is which shouldn't be like that. Because you're just watching videos. It's just it's just videos, all right. They're just people who are making content, um, entertaining you, and that's about it. You're not part of a community. These people are not your friends, unless you know them in real life, of course. But I doubt that's the case with Prince of Macedon. But you know, people are doing this deliberately, whereas Prince of Macedon doesn't actually try to do that. And still, he has so many fanatic followers that are going to be defending him for everything he does. And I don't know how you make people defend your every action. Like, they don't have their own opinion anymore. They're just, they're just brainwashed by Prince of Macedon. I just don't know how he does it. But I... I don't think that is right. And actually, if you think that this is a single case that happened, it, it's not. I can guarantee that there are many people that have gotten hate mail from from Prince of Macedon. Uh, for example, Centurion Crow, you know him, we played the co-op campaign anyways. He, he's in a lot of videos that I make. And we're talking about Prince of Macedon. He used to like him when we met. And I was like, I don't like Prince of Macedon. He was like, why? I explained everything. And I was like, go try it. Go try it for yourself. Write a comment, a similar comment, and see what's going to happen. Guess what happened? He wrote the exact same comment, and he received hate mail. It's just not the way you treat people. It's, it's just wrong. I hope you get my point. I'm not telling him what to do. It's, my, it's like convincing my grandfather to do something. He's been doing this for way longer than, than I have. And I can't change his mind about stuff. I'm just saying that people should not let themselves be treated this way. I, I cannot respect a person who treats people like this. And a person who makes false claims and the person who tries to... Maybe that's how he idolizes himself. He's just making himself look like this immortal like game god or whatever. Because he's like defending himself every time someone is even slightly critical of him like i watched a video where he played chivalry deadliest warrior someone was like oh you're you're kind of bad at this game you could have done better he was like you say i'm bad you say i'm bad you know why i'm bad because i've played the game for just like two hours and i was like no he's the guy is writing a genuine comment you shouldn't do that but yeah that's that's basically my point stop idolizing prince of Macedon. he's a human being yes he's decent at total war he's very good at total war he's in fact, much better than me. But there are people that are better than Prince of Macedon. He's not this idol. He's not a god. And stop let yourself be treated this way. Because once again, I, I the, the reason I dislike Prince of Macedon, I cannot tolerate a person who tries to offend anyone who is even slightly critical of him and have an army defending him. It just seems wrong. Anyways, that's going to be everything for this video. Maybe it's a little bit long, but I really hope that you watched it until the end. And once again, don't hesitate to comment on this video. Give me your opinion about Prince of Macedon. Let's have some good discussions. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I really wanted to talk about this. And finally, I did it. So now I'm glad. Anyways, see you next time. Goodbye.